Hello everybody, welcome to the round 16 match between Diomed and his Necromantic and Mr. Page and his Chaos. Uh, Purple Chest will be joining me in the booth forthwith, but until then um, I will be holding the fort on my own and this is a very rowdy Mr. Page team. As you'd expect, Call Mike and everyone, this is the team that he banged out a million games at the start of the team, didn't he? At the start of the season. Instant kill. Uh, I always feel like Necro are a real pain for Chaos because, you know, they've got loads of players that you don't want to pile on. Um, like the zombies that you just don't want to pile on. It doesn't really matter if you do anything to them. They've obviously all got regen, they can foul you. Um, and ultimately, they've only got two really good players. But if you, uh, if you can't remove them, then you're going to be in trouble. So. There you go. Hello, Diamond. Glorious. So yeah, that, that I do I do find you know Necro a bit annoying to play against as Chaos, but I'd, I'd still rather beat the Chaos here, obviously, because <laughs> he's got a team full of claw bomb. Uh, well, not actually full of claw bomb. He's only got one claw bomb, um, but lots of claw bomb. Here. And actually, funny enough, uh, there is a claw bomb on the Necro there, so. Yeah. Oh wow. Instant dubs. Armor seven claw pole. And not a lot else is there, like some guard. There must be some big inducements. Not only a bribe. How is the <laughs> The strength? The strength up add some doubles? I don't understand how the how there isn't more Inducements. Oh well. Army 7 and a nickel. Wow. Doesn't even need claw pom, just goes an instant uh, instant removal with just claw. And there is there is Mr. Page's Apple gun instantly on a miss next game. Ah, it was a, it was a it was a perm. And he got it down on a miss next, but um so there you go. Instantly, Mr. Page. Yeah, bribe as well, yeah. So yeah, this this dirty player has to get got. But I'm surprised only a bribe. I would think there'd be more disparity than just a bribe here. I guess this guard beat guy being off made it look worse, right? There's like this there's, there's four skills and a double off the pitch already. And this guy's got two doubles. And he's got strength and a double. And like, whereas Mr. Page is just stack normals, right? So it looks, it looks more impressive because he's got more skills, and in many ways it is more impressive because he's just got a lot more skills <laughs> on his players. But it's not that much more TV. Got to jump up on the claw pom as well. So yeah, we're gonna try and get hits around here, I guess, to try and get the dirty player bribe in. Should be the strategy. And utilize the strength firm, the strength firm, the stand firm. To uh, oh my god, to not frenzy trap. Two dub skulls already in two turns is pretty brutal. Are we gonna? Are we gonna just foul here? Yep. Wow, this is rowdy. Not sure about this foul, even with a bribe. It's like with a jump up, right? Like, just running away is... Uh... It's, it's hard though, isn't it? It's hard. Mr. Page is... Uh... Just abandoning is abandoning the fight in the middle here. This is not what I would do. And I'm gonna say <laughs> it's bad. Because now he could he's he's given the fight away, isn't he? I mean he's getting hits. But you know, by taking these out of the fight, he's making it, what, four versus... It was already four versus six, and now it's four versus nine, isn't it? <laughs> that seems... 
less than ideal. And there's a Kaz. Bosh. Doesn't even need to pile on. And it's a perm as well. Um, if that's relevant. Minus Edge. Well, he can live with that. Oh, he's, he's getting back in front. I guess that's okay. Because giving the assist... The, prob the, the thing that's bad about tagging players usually is giving somebody a free assist, right? When you've uh, when they've got horns, then giving them the free assist isn't really happening. Plus, he's just gonna blitz with his claw bomber anyway. There we go. Yeah, that was that was a, like he just split his own team, didn't he? Like, I think that to be fair, I think that was the right blitz to get the claw bomber back involved and reconnect with his team um, except now he's not reconnecting with his team he's going further down field wow um, yeah it's probably a good thing that purple chest isn't here right now <laughs> <laughs> wow, that that is a decision, isn't it? <laughs> that <sighs> I mean, it's 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 crazy because he's just it's just not it's not good, is it? It's not good by Mr. Page. He, 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 he split his team. So you're having your team split. It's not good, is it? <laughs> so, you know, he had he had four versus nine. Now he's got, you know, five versus two, right? And it, it, it's like he's just letting the force be applied um, disproportionately. Wherever the diamond would like to, um, he looks like he's actually getting back together this turn. Hello, Wolfbark. And he had two greed block rerolls as well, and now he's down to zero rerolls. Okay, well, that, yeah, that's... I didn't even notice that. I noticed, it, I noticed like the dub skulls for diamond. I didn't notice the greed rerolls for Mr. Page. But he's finally got things vaguely back together now, right? It's fi it's finally looking almost acceptable. Almost. However, there is an almost instant 2D on the ball. <laughs> oh, the old frenzy trap. Doesn't go for the hit on the ball. Maybe after using the last three roll. Pile on. No pile. <gasps> Sad. Ah, but there's also only one tackle on the Chaos team. There's only one tackle on the Chaos team. Oh, because the other one was Kaz, and that's why I uphold it as well, I guess. The fact that it's one of the two tackles. That is another reason to not like Nec the Necro matchup as Chaos, is that you generally don't have that much tackle. Oh, wow, Dub Skulls. The punishment, the punishment for his greed reroll is unbelievable. There's been a lot of Dub Skulls in this match. Now he can chain out the warrior to get two into two. Okay, well he used the stand firm, but I mean he didn't you know if he hadn't he could have chained him out. <laughs> and now he gets the power, he's changed out the he chains out the sidestep. But 
could have kept him on to make the catch harder. Roll the six anyway, so we don't know. Like he already had two on him. It was a little bit, a little bit unlucky for the warrior to catch it. The question here is, do you just dodge GFI handoff? One, two, three, four, five, GFI handoff. If you can chain him, I can chain him. Oh. oh, that's the way he's meant to be scoring. Oh my god. I'm a, sorry, I'm a big dummy. I, I, just, I was completely confused as to who drives it was there for a second. <laughs> Forgot about the blitz, yeah. God, I, I'm, I'm maybe he's a little bit tired. It was alright when PC was keeping me right. There's a lot of skills on these teams, isn't there? It's like almost too many. No, that's a bit rowdy, Diamond. I think when you're just getting to stop him for free, you should probably stop him. But now he's he has um and he's kind of done Mr. Page things, hasn't he? And he's uh he's banged out loads of players. And he's probably gonna score. Still refusing to hit the ball. Wrestle down. It's the foul. So there you go. Perfect eight turn stall by Mr. Page. Never in doubt. That was a that was a wild that was a wild half. Oh, three kills back, and three three cast for Mr. Page. He's down to ten max. Yeah, no, fair enough. That was a that was a three plus to hit him with a strength four. That can be fair, isn't it? But no, it's fair enough being being somewhat conservative and just giving up on stopping him. I think I would have gone harder to try and stop him scoring. Uh, like one or the other, right? Because I think going down there wasn't going to force him to score. I think either stay in the middle and, and bang those four guys out or go down there and like stop the score is fine or you know try and maybe maybe force it maybe stop it but maybe he's tried to go harder after one of the other Three dice, unbelievable. It is possible. <laughs> and another Kaz, oh wow. This is uh This is getting bad. This is getting very bad for Mr. Purge. Another three dice? What what is this? We've got a pro gamer here. Actual three dices. It's getting real bad now, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah, there was the apple fail and the send off, but it wasn't that bad, right? Whereas now, like he still had ten players. Now it's getting really bad. Oh, bribe fail? Oh no, didn't use the bribe. Because it has another re has another reserve. I 
I mean, he's one 0 up, isn't he? Like it, it could have been, it could have been going worse for Mister Page. He could have easily not scored, and uh, and you know, had ten players, and be just definitely going to lose one nil. Uh, whereas now, worst case scenario, like well, yeah, worst case is overtime, right? Like he's 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 guaranteed to uh, not lose in normal time, probably. I think he's got nine players. It's gonna be be really unlikely that he gets he gets right to the point where he just definitely loses in normal time. So, but yeah, they, it's it's funny. It's it's a funny matchup, Necro. Like. Necro are a funny team. I, I never really like using them and never really like playing against them. Yeah, he's got another got another dirty player. I wouldn't have even minded fouling with a rookie. I was thinking, but he doesn't have any rookies. Uh, doesn't have any rookies on this. So yeah. A dirty player and then not using the uh boy, it was definitely correct. Good evening, good evening. I know exactly what you mean, Jim. Necromantic come inherently seemingly always looking to get ahead of you. They never seem to have quite enough. You know, two golems, two whites, two wolves, two ghouls. There never seems to be quite enough to really dominate teams until they suddenly do. Yeah. So they're always looking to either remove or chip with the wolves or you know, get a dirty player fouled, or just something, and I, I can never, I can never seemingly get on top of them, but I can't seemingly make it work for me. Yeah, and they're they're great once they get on top, aren't they? Once they get on top themselves, they are actually great. They're yeah. like a great front runner team. I'm surprised he stood for him there. I would have quite liked to to push him on. Like once you've already got one fleshy on, might as well push him. Ah, oh, it's because he wanted guard. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, Steve. It was Necro, but still, um, I tend to. Yeah, they're a weird team. I tend to not like. Oh my god, another. Oh god, this is a massacre now. <laughs> this is an absolute massacre. Four cars and a send off. So yeah, not much of it. Not much of a game for you now, PC. You, you missed. You missed the the best part. I missed the attrition bit. You you missed the part where Mr. Page just uh, abandoned half his team to have like a little cage of four players over at the side and then let the other four just get killed by ten players. Right. Uh, and then ran he, down. He got the, got the touchdown done, though. Yeah, well, then he then he ran down with four players and then got assaulted by ten and then somehow he, he got the team back together a little bit and survived against all odds and, yeah, got the score on turn eight. So, he, he, you know, he got it. He got it. He did get it done eventually, but uh, it was it was won't very. Won't hear tell that people say he's a one-dimensional banger that's never got better. I I won't hear tell of that. I think he definitely has got better lately. I think he's been playing more varied teams. That he's he's got better game management. He still loves to hurt things. Um, you know that's his nature. Well, this was really this was really bad and weird because it wasn't even like he was banging. You know, he just literally split his team off. And left yeah. four to get beaten up and run down the field with four. It was very weird. Was well, I mean, perhaps he felt that was his only way out. I, I, I wasn't here, but yeah. So what I'm saying is that he, he can abandon the bang for, you know, more strategic game options at times now. Mm. But he does seem to be in huge trouble here. Yes. I think a lot of it was his own making. To be honest, it was right. It was very strange. Very, very strange in the first half. It's also not how you would tend to try and take on Necro with Chaos. I mean, the, the, your strength is the pack, isn't it? Yeah. It's trying to stop the angles where the Wolves can't get those frenzy hits and get out afterwards. Yeah. To try and get on top of a Golem. You get a Golem stunned for a turn or two and their whole sort of shape can fall apart. Though two stand firm whites is an absolute pain in the tits, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Fouling the claw pommel. Interestingly, not assisting with this guy. Yeah. I don't hate where he put him afterwards, but then he could have gone there before him. Yeah. Maybe that was so if he sent off, he'd still have a screen. Right? Yes, okay. No, that makes sense. No, now it's just a... Now it's just a massacre. There's like five players left standing. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, Mr. Page will do what he can, which is to try and maximise his hits and see if he can get on top of the numbers. But yeah, this is bleak. Don't say it's over. <laughs> yeah, and 
unfortunately this is looking like. Yeah, honestly, it was interesting. It was really interesting. I think you might have been rather damning uh, <laughs> had you been here for the first half. It was, it, it would have been funny, <laughs> but um, it wasn't an enforced and creative reaction to a crumbling situation, but rather a bizarre move that totally gave away strategic advantage and momentum to the opposition, who were then able to dice up what was left behind. Yes. Yeah. I see. Yeah, it was. It well, then better I wasn't, eh? <laughs> well, well, that was the thing. It's like, yes and no, it would have been funny. <laughs> it would have definitely been funny, but it would have also, you know, it would have had the chance of maybe people would have thought you were being too mean, but uh, I wouldn't have thought you were being too mean because I thought it was terrible. <laughs> well, i for my balanced and love-filled view of life, but I will call mm. what I think, you know, it, yes. you see wonderful players play terrible turns and terrible players play wonderful turns. That's one of the joys of Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah, like, that's the thing. It's weird how, like, you know, I, I guess with him being a streamer, there's an element of, like, a bit of a cult, isn't there? And, like, people will be like, rah, 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 if, you know, if you criticise yeah. a streamer as if you're, like, yeah. calling them a terrible person or anything like exactly. that. Whereas, or, not even, or just a terrible player, whereas, it, like, you know, everyone can play badly, as you said, yeah. Yeah, and has strengths and advantages. You know, there's things that Paige does incredibly well. He's, you know, he's a 65% coach. That means he's incredibly good. There are better people for, you know, the odds of winning a game. But within what Paige enjoys doing in Blood Bowl, he has a lot of talent and ability and he you know, he knows how to hit things hard and well and he does keep coming for you and he is pretty relentless. And you know, I I think don't see a problem in saying any of the things if you think it's truthful. Yeah. If you're saying it with hate or to create division, that's different. But if you're just saying what you believe to be true, you know, yeah. like, how is that ever an issue? Well, and if it go. is, then don't listen to me because I'm not going to stop saying what I think is true. Just yeah, me neither. Who I am and how I live. Yeah, me neither. Makes life easier too. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better when you just stop giving any fucks, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> I often think that, like, God, I used to, I used to give a shit. <laughs> it's so much better when you don't. Just when we saw Paige get something into this, that is simply not the way. Straight back the on top. does not support your assertion. And, and I mean now it's it's. I mean it isn't done because you know, it's still got to get to the one one and then win. But it. Yeah, it sure looks think, done, doesn't it? Yeah, you could give every chaos person still alive the ball, and you still think the Necro are going to take it fairly quickly away again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, it was so weird. It was it was actually a shame because the the first the first quarter of an hour or twenty minutes or so was like the only thing that mattered. In the, <laughs> well, maybe ten minutes were like were the things that mattered, and it would it would have been interesting to hear your take on it. But uh, I mean, it was just it was just bizarre. It was well, my interests were served better with ten minutes with the park. Yes, yeah, yes, of course, of course. I mean. It's just a shame for you spending this time here watching a game that's or was already over as soon as you appeared, wasn't it? You know, but uh... yes, but that's the luck of Blood Bowl. I mean, sometimes that happens the minute you spin into someone, so yeah. it could be worse. Yep. Now I know this feels cruel, but in some way I'd like to see the chaos get the overtime ball and just see if there's anything they can do around. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound a bit cruel. <laughs> yeah, obviously you've got to stomp, got to stomp them, right? Yeah, absolutely. But you just you need some of these fouls to be sent off. You just need something to change the momentum a tiny bit, give you a glimmer here. But Paige is getting out, is he? Oh, just he's getting cast oh, when, he when he tries something. Harmless little four plus. Not the hardest thing to ask for in the world. And it leads to a casualty on an AV9 piece. Well, some days it's not your day. Oh my god. Casabar smash himself. Wow, that's brutal. That yes, brutal. I prefer dead, dead, dead to Casabar smash, but Casabar smash has its own, own little kernel of joy to it, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh, Albo Rambu. Yeah. He's going for the ball carry. Interesting. I'd probably go for the claw mighty here just to try and reduce attrition. And I, I get that you know going for the ball carrier is the best thing for winning the match. Yes. But I would assume I'd already won the match. <laughs> I'm just being honest. 
No, this probably and, is and the correct. All thing I can to say do. for sure is I definitely fail one of them. I didn't hate that foul. Yeah, no, I don't hate. I, like, I think I, it's yeah, well, yeah, I wouldn't blame anyone for fouling the claw either, because as you say, the game is one remove remove an attrition piece. It's less dangerous, and I, I, you know, it doesn't matter if they get the ball in overtime. You've beat them. It's fine. As long as you're not an idiot. I mean, you know, keep three pieces back as the rest come forwards. Know that there'll probably be a, a throw to deep at some point and just be ready to win when that happens. It's fine. Mm. Also, the way that the dice have gone, I feel like fouling his claw mighty would just, you know, being armor nine would be much more likely to kill him. <laughs> 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 because yeah it's been well he does seem to have that intention <laughs> um, however with one turn left he definitely is okay. yeah. there we go Wolfie scores yep 1-1 one, one, anyone's game yeah <laughs> <laughs> well you know he's got the LOS, he's got the double LOS Mr. Page he's got he you know, does he's got four players to hit the LOS so, yep look all four KOs come back well there we are Straight back in it. Um, almost. <laughs> Six players. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's half a chance if he wins the toss. Half a chance. Uh, it, it's not... I mean, weirder things have happened. Yeah. And, you know, remove two necromantics here and win the toss. And, you know, perhaps we're looking at something approaching a Blood Bowl game. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Page has definitely been diced, but he definitely got himself into trouble on his own drive, uh, needlessly. But I mean, it has been a dicing. I mean, look. <laughs> look at this. Um... That's one rowdy wool. And one not so rowdy wool. Yep. Well, at least the new rule set will have learned from the lesson of having a plus two on a 2d6 bell curve and definitely not build loads of those in. <laughs> yep. You certainly wouldn't put it, you know, for example, on a star. No. <sighs> Up for one last cast PC after this? Um, oh, well, I don't feel this has really been one, so yeah, why not? Oh, glorious. Yeah, overtime, so there's a chance. <laughs> Didn't make any removals with his LOS. <laughs> And diamond won the toss, so yeah. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Should we just? Can we just skip ahead? <laughs> I, 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 I think it'll be brief, won't it? Yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead because what's the point, man? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's yeah. Over. As long as he picks the ball up, this is over. Yeah. Apparently, one just got hit by it. Like, you know, if anybody's watching this <laughs> on YouTube, which is the only I thing think, left, why? Yeah. yeah. Why are you still watching it? Because everyone on the stream is just waiting for the next match. Yeah. I think maybe he got hit by a rock there, by the looks of it. it does look like it. Nothing's blitzed him. Mm. He's doing the sensible stuff, exploiting the space where it is, isolating everything because he's got the time. Yeah. He really likes going for this guy, doesn't he? Which, yeah, you know, at this point, no. At this point, kill the killer. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Now he definitely won't pick the ball up, because that was a real threat. <laughs> I hope that zombie dies now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he does. To be fair, he's already got two dirty players, so maybe maybe he put him there. So he... Well, is I, I need rid of a zombie. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bear to sack this poor guy. You know, old clown has been with me for forty-two games. I don't, I can't sack the poor fella. Well, he just sucked a reroll with it. So yeah, there we are. Game changer. Wonderful.
aged still with two very dangerous rerolls. No actual team to use them, but has the rerolls. Yep. <laughs> He's got the Kekwadi. <laughs> That well, except Demon has three, four, though. doesn't he? Yeah, that that should have been that should have been a reroll, I think, because I guess obviously you might you might double skull on the reroll, but the problem is you don't. I guess even no. Yeah, he's yeah, uphilling you. Just, he needs to you one in thirty. There's just no need. Yeah, he needs to one in thirty six you, but he's got a reroll, right? So if if you reroll, you're one in thirty six to double skull. But if you let him uphill you, he's one in thirty six. But you he can reroll that one in thirty six. Oh, he's gone for sure anyway. Oh, this is quite yes, good. I, I, I think there was enough there to keep the wolf safe. So. Yeah. I quite like actually I, leaving the ball hit on because I'd rather yeah. be rolling four pluses to try and hit the ball that will never win him the game than yep. uphilling, <laughs> uphilling the wolf for a one in 36 chance of hitting him. It's, it's much more about, it. I mean, how it gets done is important because you might want to score on a set piece, but what is at risk is a key factor at this point in a turn, isn't it? Yeah, I like guess. And trying to draw blitzes in certain directions that give them half a hope when there really isn't. Yeah. Because he's got to do it, right? He has to do it. He, you know, Mr. Page, like, you know, he can oh, potentially he, win by doing it. He got with the flesh column score. Yep. Yeah, I like that. He's definitely got the time, so why not give it a few turns? You've got four rerolls to try and get it into those hands. Yeah. He's got a terrible flesh column, put a score on it. Yeah. Does it level it, Jim? I can't tell. No, it puts him. It puts him in MVP range. Okay, well, still worth doing. Yeah. Yeah, or eminently worth doing, or two cas away, right? Oh, and he, he no, he doesn't. He's got blocked. Yeah, so it'll put him on twelve. So then he's two cas or an MVP, or a touchdown. Well, yeah, nice place to be. Yeah. Touchdown and a pass. Yeah. You never know. That might happen. He <laughs> might do the throw. No. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to see him do a few vanity passes now. God, that'd be incredible, wouldn't it? I think he might if he had Edge 4. But having to do a 4 3 is like. Yeah, a bit it's, too it's a big ask. But yeah, again, zero re rolls. As long as you keep fouling the claw pommer. It wouldn't be terrible to do the passes now. <laughs> you really don't need it. Just take the score. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, he will. He will just score, I'm sure. And there we go. There we go. Finally. There you go. Well played. Congratulations, Diamed. Commiserations, Mr. Page. Um, it was over a long time ago. I mean, it was a bit of a dicing uh, in the end. But, you know, ultimately, it was a bit of Mr. Page's doing. He did get himself in trouble by splitting his team and, you know, isolating in the, di the two different parts in the first half. Uh, for essentially no reason, I thought, and uh, he made it worse when he could have made it better. Um, there was a chance to get the team back together. Very interesting. Um, so there you go. Thank you very much, PC. Absolutely glorious as always. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.